there's that big old door again, leading us into um, the world of magicians and pointy hats and stuff. Um, okay, so it's been quite a few days. I don't think I, I, I didn't record the whole time my family was in town. Um, on the plus side, we have furniture now, which is great. The empty house was not optimal, and my parents were total saints. They helped out with quite a few things, because there's, I mean, there's still a ton that's, uh, broken <laughs> or just plain not working in this place, but, um, definitely helped. So, they are pretty awesome. Alright, so, I think it's been... I think it's been... Five days. That sounds right, yeah. Um, wait, okay. We saw a scream, but we didn't hear one. Which is odd. We did get a nice close-up of the octopus. I don't understand why you can't um, control the camera in this game. So anyway, I am downstairs in our on our new couch. And I <clears throat> finished dropping my parents off at the airport earlier today. Oh, it was Becky screaming. Jeff, oh that scream? It was nothing really. It's not like I mistook a dust bunny on the floor for a spider or anything. Like how spiders capitalize, like it's a proper thing. No, really, just forget about that scream. It was nothing. But thanks for coming over so fast. It's nice to know you care. Well, I didn't know it was you. If I knew it was you, I might not have come, but... Um... So I feel like I've had that before, but where you can actually hear the scream. I couldn't hear it at all. Some people think chit chat's a waste of time, but I don't. There are lots of new things you can dis learn and discover by talking with people. That's especially true when I talk with you, Geoff. Alright. So, it's been a really crazy couple days. Um, oh. Oh, okay. I was wondering when this was going to happen. <laughs> so, the mystery that was blocking our um, mystery quests, or mystery... Man, I can't talk. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm trying to say now. Ooh, okay. Memory serves these party time Katie does are super amazing. Okay, I'm gonna throw out those worthless mushrooms. Maybe I can just like get rid of them this way. But yeah, so we did a lot of weird, like, furniture shopping stuff. Um, that took a lot of time. I am so thankful that I, knock on wood, didn't seem to um, get re-exposed to COVID or the flu or anything, because from what I hear, they're both going around a lot right now. And, uh, shopping around Thanksgiving, I, I have no idea how we survived that, honestly. Hey, where's Mr. Graves? What the hell? He's supposed to be out here teaching us an extracurricular activity. What a chip. But, um, something else that made past few days extra exhausting. Wow, we have a lot of berries right now. I hope they last till tomorrow. Um. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, gotcha. I think I really needed one of those. Um. Well, pretty much any of these can go. Bye-bye! 
I think I can sell this Lapis Lazuli. Or, hmm, am I gonna learn the spell, f the incantation for that soon? Maybe I can store it. Alright. But another thing that happened was, um, a couple nights ago, I wasn't expecting one, but a, a, a big update for Pocket Camp came out. And I sort of had like a mild mental breakdown yesterday. Um, because my last thread was... I'm sorry if I'm rambling about something that's not important or like irrelevant to Mission Express. But, um... <laughs> I don't know, in case this is interesting, it's probably not, but... Um, but basically, um... Wow, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of sleepy today. I, I didn't get much sleep last night, and as you know, as I've said basically every video, <laughs> I am really bad at talking when that happens. Um, but basically, like, I, 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 um, my last thread was extremely late, so I, and, and someone kind of pointed out, like, you're basically posting these at the end of the update periods, and that there's not much point to that. And they're right. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm so burned out. Um, so I told myself I'm actually going to do this really fast, and the, the secret is sort of not caring, because I think I write better when I don't. And I'm not so self-conscious and trying to do a perfect job. If you're just honest, like, this, this, these updates happen twice a month for five years, with the moral of the story being it, they're not that important. So you can just sort of wing it, and it actually turns out better. Um, anyway, so I, I actually managed to get it done in, I think, two or three days, which is for an update this size, because this update was like twice the size of the other updates. It was like really quite an accomplishment. And then I posted it, and then long story short, Reddit has these issues that made it um, made it basically unreadable. Like you, you couldn't actually read it, it just wouldn't load, um, because I had it part of a collection, a thread collection. Um, so I was just like seething at the computer, snarling. It was a good thing like no one else was online, because I was about to like just flip out for no good reason. And I don't know, it just made me sort of think, like, maybe I'm... Maybe I do need to slow down. Because, I mean, I, I like writing actual fiction, and, and sometimes this stuff gets in the way. <laughs> Which it shouldn't. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Geoff, how have you been? Me, I'm just fine, thanks. I take good care of myself, unlike certain others at the time. I think it always helps to keep a little distance between you and your friends. If you don't, then you have to get up and helping out all the time. How I work with cleaning, with relationship problems? Well, to me, oh yeah, that reminds me, would you help me clean up around here once in a while? Sure, Mikey, why not? Oh my, there's so many things I want, I just don't know what to do. Well, maybe one of my fans will give me some presents. Probably. I bet Susie has a ton of simps. Oh, hey. Yeah, let's do it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the whole thing, and it's just like, I think the collages might need to go, because nobody is ever like, hey, that was a really nice collage. I mean, sometimes they're like, that was a nice arrangement, but they don't actually comment on like the backgrounds of them. And they take a ridiculous amount of time. Like, if it's a cookie... I'm, I'm sorry, this is just gibberish. Like, if it's a fortune cookie, which is like a, basically a premium special set of furniture that I always like to m make nice and I arrange and stuff. Oh, I saw the lapis lazuli in my bed. I'll spend like easily like an hour or two, maybe three hours on one collage, and there's like six collages, sometimes up to like 10 or even 12. Um, and so it's just getting a point where like when an update comes out, I'm like, working on it literally non-stop, or at least it kind of feels like that. And it's just not sustainable, I guess. So maybe I should just stop caring about the collages so much. And let them be a little crummier. And I hate it, because, like, the game isn't going to last forever, so I like, I like having nice things to look back on. 
But I'm just human. I used to not make col like I used to basically not do backgrounds at all, just do a little color gradient in Photoshop. And um, those were the days I could actually get a data mine up the same night. I mean, that's a foreign concept to me now. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry to just bitch. It's just been a lot that's on my mind, and I appreciate you for tolerating it while I'm supposed to be talking about Magician's Quest. I may guess. I mean, as long as these videos are, I, I'm basically just going to end up rambling, but all the same. I really like this song. This is Subterranean. It's a nice, relaxing... It's like sort of... sounds like sort of like a cave journey, I think. Man, I got a nasty little bite on my leg. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy with how the thread turned out. I mean, it's not perfect, but considering I got it done in a certain time frame. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it just feels like it's really taken over my life. And honestly, like, you know, the ugly truth is I don't really care about the game anymore that much. I mean, I still play it, but like. Yeah, sometimes it does kind of feel like going through emotions, because, like, I enjoy a game like this much more. It feels a lot more immersive, and and the items are more diverse, so I can express myself better. I mean, animal, like, Pocket Camp is, like, I don't know, like, 8,000 furniture items at this point. I don't know, maybe, like, 5,000, but, um, a lot, of, like, they start looking kind of the samey. After a certain point, they're all very, very cute. But yeah, I don't know. And it's sort of like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, and I mean, it's sort of my own fault. It's sort of like, uh, I don't really know how it happened. I mean, I, di I didn't really want to be making these in new Reddit to begin with, but we did that, and that's a little trickier. Actually, maybe not so much. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, I forgot we have to do these hairdos at some point. That's going to be... That's not going to be good. Sorry, I feel like I'm ignoring Mikey. And then some users wanted a Discord version. Ooh, Explorer Pants, yes! So I went along with that. And at first I wasn't gonna have to be the one to post them, but then of course that didn't last, and so now I post them and it's... It can be a lot of extra work. And most of the time I'm, I'm happy to do it. But... With how big these updates are, and the problem is I'm just too ambitious sometimes, like, I should have known better than to start making fancy collages and longer stories. Ooh, that's pretty sharp. I don't know if we can afford it, though. But also, I don't know if it's my style. I like this, though. shoes yes please uh, we don't we don't need to try those on they're not actually going to look like anything actually yeah, you can you kind of can tell but 
but yeah, so it's like I, I've, I've, I've tried my hardest to the point where it's like I have to, so now I have to try my hardest every time. And a lot of times I, I don't have time, even though I had time a while ago. Sort of thing, right? I always feel like I have to one up myself. But yeah, I don't know. And it's like no one's fault at all. Everyone is so sweet if I ever take time to him off or anything. And honestly, just the fact that anyone reads them at all is kind of a dream come true. Um, like, I get to give my opinion on the game and stuff, and people will actually read it, which is absolutely insane. I mean, it's just the sweetest thing, like, any, anyone reading them at all. Because I know they're not the fastest data mines anymore. Ooh, New Year's Cuisine? Oh, we're getting pretty poor. Ooh, a Chinese bed. Of course, I looked up and Hot, pot, hot Water Pot actually is... Believe it or not, it actually is... Uh, what am I trying to say? Okay. But it's definitely affordable. We just gotta do some farming. Um, oh shit, I totally forgot what I was saying. Sea wall might look good. That's a fort. I have to remember to get that. Oh, I hit all this Christmas stuff. Kid Betrayal. Big Top Polka. Side effects. Ooh, side effects is a good one. Did I order a CD from you a while ago? I guess I did. Alright. Well, sorry. I guess if it was important, I'll go back and listen to what I said. <laughs> And finish my thought next episode. Um, all that to say is, I know I'm incredibly lucky. Um, I just, uh, I wish I had, I wish there were all the hours in the day in my life to do everything I wanted to do. That's basically what it boils down to. I would love to spend all the time making, you know, really, really, really nice uh, assets and everything for for these dynamines. And it's sort of a balancing act, because the more time I take, the longer it, people have to wait for them to be posted, and then the less useful they are, because it's a data mine. The point is that you're showing off stuff early. So there's like a shooting star event, apparently, and uh, I really wanted, I think it starts tonight, and I really wanted to um, get the post up before, because it was like the one thing that the other data miner didn't have in their post. What? Why is she angry? Oh. Sure. Is very sweet. Animal Crossing Aurora versus Magician's Quest Aurora. That's a that would be a tough choice. Oh, one thing I did want to do is um let's finally have some tea with Mikey. Because why not? 
I want to see if he likes this French cooking. Ooh la la. Anyway, and like as much work as it is, I think honestly, Bassy on the server does way more work than I do. He is busy on the wiki, on the wiki, and um, and Nini too. Wait, why don't you have like you can join me, Mikey? Ugh, he's nagging our lack of decor. I guess we need to serve it. He didn't like the uh, food, I guess. Alright, so before November ends, so basically this is our last chance, probably, unless I can do another mystery time in the next couple days. Which actually might be feasible. Um, I'm going to need to catch a Cambrian creature, a Scissorhead, and a Hammerhead Shark. I'm really confused why Mr. Graves isn't here. Is it because this is a seasonal mystery instead of a normal mystery? He's normally right here. Oh yeah, we should also... We should also check out the garage sale. That's still bothering me, whatever I forgot. I feel like I'm worried that I said something that... Was going to start off rude, but then it was going to be less rude by the time I finished my thought. So I'm sorry if so. I... Okay, Patsy's here. Oh, a Yamcha set. Interesting, interesting. Chinese low table. I'm much more interested in the Yamcha. Let's see. But whatever we give her. Patsy will probably be stuck eating, so we should make a good, a good choice. <laughs> Nigel has some sort of secret. I wonder what it is. Maybe this is what I was going to say, but I don't think it was. It's just like... Um... As a whole, I... And this is nothing about the Pocket Camp community. It's like, as a whole, I'm not very close to the Animal Crossing community. It's gotten so big in the last few years. And... <laughs> best part of experimenting is that the smallest mistake can have the wildest consequences. Anything can happen to when you're willing to go the extra mile. For example, I'm mixing tips very... Okay. For a second I thought he was, you know, talking about a different kind of experimenting. But, um, I feel like the Animal Crossing fandom, and pardon me if this is being indelicate, but the series is so sweet and nice that I feel like sometimes the fandom has like this like f fake and sincere niceness to it and so like if you have no outlet for your negative feelings at all um, those negative feelings will just emerge in different ways and contexts and, um, that's why I like how the first Animal Crossing game is a little nasty. It had, like, more balance to it. 
And I think that's a big reason I'm not engaged with Pocket Camp, is like... It feels like overproduced. Like a lot of the items are just like... Oh, I'm not gonna catch this. I should just stop. It's just like... It's like 20 for 7 cuteness. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I'm being too honest or if I'm not being honest enough because when I get into my thread writing mode, I tend to censor myself a lot more. And now I still feel like I'm speaking to the Pocket Camp audience even though there's probably no one who's here from the Pocket Camp community, although it's possible. In the end, it's probably just better to be blunt. Okay, got that. Not blunt, but just direct, I guess. But yeah, I, I do apologize. I, I, I am really in a weird emotional headspace for this episode. Maybe not the best time to be disengaging and playing Magician's Quest. I don't think I've said anything at all about the game yet. Oh, wow, that filled up fast. Okay, let's go. So, let's backtrack. Mystery time. <laughs> this is your first time seeing mystery time if you're starting with this let's play and you have no familiar with the game. Um. Mystery Time, as you can see, it is very different from day or night. The sky is bright pink, even though it's 9 at night. And it would be like this, even if I played in the middle of the day. It's sort of unrelated to the day and night, or whatever. What's wrong? You look a little under the weather. Perhaps your life is a little stormy at the moment. It's difficult asking people for favors. The rule is that if someone does a favor for you, you have to make sure to pay them someday. When a friend did my laundry for me, I had to do three days of his homework in exchange, according to my data. I wonder if that was such a good deal after all. I might just do my own laundry next time. See off. So, would you agree with me that we get along well? Not that well. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe, maybe we'll come closer in the future. I hate breaking hearts, but I'm just not feeling it. I don't want anyone seeing me being friends with a nerd. <laughs> just kidding, maybe. Okay, but basically, as you could probably gather, Mystery Time is very unique. Um, so, the bugs and fish totally change, for the most part. Um, they're often mythical creatures instead of um, your typical ones. Shade remains! I don't accept it. Um... So it's a really good time for money making, I may have said that already, but um, all these bugs and fish, because they're rare, they generally give better reports than your typical stuff. At least somewhat. Oh my god. This guy's trying to prove me wrong. Shade remains. It's bogus. Okay, if he was gonna give me more shade remains, I was about to flip out. So, um... In addition to the creatures, there's also little extracurricular classes, although not this time for some reason. Maybe it's because it's my first one. 
Or maybe I'm not like advanced enough in my lessons. Um, let me think. What else? What else? What else? Mystery time is also when your classmates will have a little flea market garage sale type thing and you can bring stuff of your own to swap for their furniture and they'll actually decorate using your stuff. And uh, I think that's most of the unusual junk. See, I know whatever this is is going to be better than the shade remains, so I should just swap it. Yeah. That's where it belongs. In the trash. But yeah, that's, I guess that's all I really had to say in the matter. I'm extremely burned out. It's no one's fault, but holy shit, I'm so burned out on pocket camp stuff. And I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't feel like I can take a break. Um, I probably can, technically speaking. Maybe I just don't want to take a break. I know it's probably time to cut back, but um, it's hard. I am the... I'm trying to figure out if I'm the hardest working sloth or the laziest hard worker. I guess I do have my hand in a lot of jars though when it comes to video game stuff. Speaking of jars, or pots, I guess, that's really pretty. Now I'm contemplating, should I try to get the whole Chinese set? I mean, should I try to get every set? Yeah, and I already said this, but yeah, just to make it totally clear, like, everyone is incredibly, incredibly nice. People are so nice about, like, Oh, um, I actually have some free time today. How would you like to play with me? Let's play. Thanks. It really makes me happy to hear you say that. There's nothing more fun than going to play after school. Well, um, let's go. I should probably quit my voices. I, I, I've thought about this and I realized like, I think my problem was I've watched some Lucagen and stuff like that. And like, she makes it seem so easy to do like really good voices for all the characters. And I'm forgetting, um, she is a professional voice actor. And I don't think of her in that context because it's not her main gig, but she actually is. Um, I don't know what to do with Patsy. Like, I don't actually want to hang out with her, but she's following us around. Some used dessert. Not used. Maybe leftover dessert? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We should see. <laughs> we should see what she wants for work. 
button. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm having trouble finding some of the materials I need to make the freaky frog fat. I need the portini mushroom, a biscuit mushroom, and a ram's head mushroom. Lots of mushrooms. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for those. At least just for the extra thousand. Ugh, these shade remains, they hurt, I tell ya. I also wish we were still getting double for the ores, because we just got a bunch, but that's okay. Freaky frog fat. I wonder what that's used for, if it's used for anything. So the house came with this, like, cool fire pit coffee table thing. And we're having a devil of a time getting it to work. Like, we can get it lit, but it, the fire isn't, like, coming out. It's very confusing. Okay. Let's go fishing, Patsy. As long as you know we're just friends. Platonically fishing friends. Come on, come on. Come on! There we go. No, it's just an Nautilus. I probably could have let that go. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like something I'm looking for. Oh, come on! Alright, I did get a bit too aggressive. But the, f the dip in the frame rate wasn't helping things. legendary at least but yeah I I don't know I'm sorry if you can tell that I'm a little stressed I mean it's probably extremely obvious I think my my parents being here contributed to that quite a bit as well feels a little weird they've they've decorated a bit and they've Dropped off a ton of my old stuff. I think I have said this on 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 a video at some point, but I used to think I like really don't have a lot of possessions, and then you you see it all in one place, and you realize you're kind of a hoarder, actually. Um, this house has a lot of good storage, so that's good, though. I feel about going to this island with Patsy. She seems okay though. I don't mind her being around for the ride. I don't know if she's a wet blanket, but she's kind of a wet puree, if, if that's what Mont Blanc is. It's a chestnut puree, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Man, this shirt I'm wearing looks so comfortable. In the game, I mean. Ooh, gotta get it. Alright, that's another one that I needed. To 
just need one more and then we're good for November. We were doing some furniture shopping at Big Lots for better or for worse. And, um, I spent like a week obsessing over this table, and then it turned out like they didn't have any of the chairs in stock. Alright, that's the last one we needed. So we basically just wasted like two or three hours of our life at Big Lots. Um, thankfully, we finally found some furniture because my parents are about to flip their shit. We found like a Christian furniture store, so my parents were like super inclined to spend money, which actually worked out because they actually did have really good stuff. And like, it's kind of a long story. I know it probably sounds like uh, I'm just leeching out my parents, and I kind of am, but we sort of have a, an arrangement. That sounds so prostitute-y. But basically, because I have so many health problems, they're helping me out in exchange for... I don't know, maybe this is like too personal to be really getting into on YouTube. But like, they will be visiting sometimes, for sure. Hey, getting some decent stuff. Now I don't want to get that Kara San Paran or whatever. I, I, I know you're probably looking at it and like, what is that thingy? Well, it is a fuzzy ball thing, as you could probably tell. Um, yes, it is kind of related to those little thingies in Spirited Away, I think. Um, but I have no idea what in Japanese mythology it, like, relates to. Not a single clue. Um, be right back. Okay, I've returned. I'm thinking this video is going to get um, hit with a copyright claim because of this Sugar Plum Fairy song. We'll see. If not, it's the end of the world. Not the end of the world. <laughs> it's the end of the world. <laughs> um, no, I don't really think my channel's ever going to get monetized anyway, which is fine by me. I like just doing this for fun. he's thinking about right now. What's going on in her chestnut puree head? So it's the Draco flies that you don't want the big size of. I'm trying to think. Oh, the fly agaric. Is that the kind that Malila said she needed? I guess it's worth a shot. Oh, those are definitely the kind she needed. I don't know if it's worth doing this stuff in mystery time, but maybe. Alright. Pockets are full now. Susie is really 
hanging around the Emporium quite a lot. I don't know what she has planned. Victoria used to do that a lot. Alright, is this the right thing? No, it's not. <laughs> this is, though. Oh no, Patsy, no. We don't like you like that. No offense. Your lovely pudding. I cannot figure out what she is. Like, if you look at her head, she looks like a pineapple. Not not like a pineapple, but like, like sliced pineapple. Something. I can't figure it out. Alrighty. Hey, Mikey. Hi, Geoff. It must be a lucky, lucky day running into me. Let's see, when I get married, it can't be with a gossip. I'd hate for everyone to know the details of my personal life. Decent cooking skills are a must. I want home-cooked meals made from the heart with love. And my spells would have to be loyal and honest. I detest liars. Well, to me, you'd think it, would be, you'd think it was easy to find a suitable partner, but nobody seems to fit my criteria. Well, just hang with us. Even if we can't be your wife, we'll be uh, your best mate. thought just occurred to me. Patsy's with us, so maybe this is a good opportunity to play a song. What songs do we know? Which one is this one? Oh no, I have to stop playing Hear Me Now. Ugh, Mikey's like floating around. Played in the square. No, there's no one here. No, not that's not the square anyway. But you know what I mean. The little place in front of the school. I thought there were more things I needed to catch. I think I just got confused by the list. I think there's not a whole lot else that's actually urgent. Supposedly I've gotten everything. Canned tuna. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Gotta love when you catch some fish and it's pre canned. This little spot where the ground like flickers and it I always think it's a ripple, but it's not. Bass boring. It's mystery time, I don't wanna see that shit. Maybe, you know, I should go now. Yeah, I think I should we'll see you later. Well fine. So long. Uh, what? I don't even know what happened there. Whoa. What river fish is that big? I have zero clue. It's 
a Leviathan spawn. Are those supposed to be that big? I don't remember them being that enormous. Getting a lot of different things here. I think I'll take a nice long bath today. Well, tonight. Oh, not a tiny pond smell. I feel like we can do better. Where I keep thinking I'm seeing like something out of the corner of my eye or something. I guess I haven't recorded in this room at night before. That's probably all it is. Oh, this place is haunted! Fortunately, I know how to deal with ghosts. You just <clears throat> cast a farting spell on them and they're completely dealt with. You know what they say? He who smelt with is dealt with. Man, so we're gonna get a lot of money from these from mystery time creatures, but if these berries can stay good until tomorrow, we'll also have a night quite a nice windfall tomorrow as well. Assuming there's decent prices for at least some of these. I don't know if it's been long enough in the game for some of the prices to get really crazy, but they can get pretty high. Nigel. No. So this is a centipede fly, and I really know nothing about it. But it's a decent mystery time catch. I'm not going to spare you this one, because we're still handing in a lot of new stuff. Not that that really makes this inherently more interesting as a process, but... At least we're seeing him have some good reactions, I guess. No, uh, not more shade remains. Please, I beg of you. I need to just make a list of all the, the shade remains. What the fuck? Seriously, this is starting to drive me kind of crazy. I need to just like make a list of, of the shade remain sizes for each creature so I know to throw them away as soon as I catch them. Because I'm trying to raise money, and I don't need this stuff that uh, only sells for 10 rich. Gold or decent enough. Thank you. I seem to recall the Nautiluses were pretty decent sized. Is it Nautiluses or not a lie? Oh, I don't think you can see this, but my computer just turned its night light on because it just turned to 9.30. You know, if I play until midnight, then I can go in the haunted house after. And there's all these berries here, so that actually sounds like a good idea. Maybe I will just do that. That's a long time, though. <laughs> we'll see if I can... If I can, uh, keep occupied for that long.
It really looks like I have a candle burning in the next room, but it's just the reflection of the candle next to me. It's, uh, driftwood flavor. I don't know if it really smells like driftwood. Here, let me, like, reach over and see if I can get a, a good whiff without burning my nose hairs off. Kind of just smells like fire. Actually, it does have sort of a pleasant aroma to it. When I was a kid, there was this uh, little shop by this Walmart, by the Walmart in town. And they were, you know, one of those, like, homey decor places, and they... That's where we... I don't really know why my parents ever went there, because they're not, like, people who decorate. Um, they must have had a particular reason for going there. Whenever we would get there, I would sometimes spend some of the money I'd saved up for my chore chart and buy a new Beanie Baby. They had a lot of Beanie Babies. That was in the 90s when Beanie Babies were in. Oh my god, though. So I've, I've like, seen the modern Beanie Babies, and they're, like, no offense if you're into them, but, like, I find them kind of atrocious. They have, like, these big planetoid eyeballs that are just, like, huge and bulging. And it's, like, really bizarre. Because, I don't know. I don't know why, but, like, it pains me sometimes to see companies making bad business decisions. Because, for real, if they just made the classic designs... Like, I'm not even saying remake the old Beanie Babies. I'm just saying keep the old aesthetic. I mean, there's so many, like, 90s kids like me who are feeling nostalgic and who would at least buy a couple. I mean, at least buy one. But I'm not gonna buy these new ones because they don't look right. <laughs> I just can't believe, like, at least just, at least make both kinds, you know? I don't know if Thai, the Thai company is even still making them. Shall we do our homework together sometime? That way we can finish more quickly. Well, to me, for the most efficiency, you really need about four people. I guess having a lot of friends isn't bad after all. Friends who do my homework, that is. Mikey's so smart. Say, do you think I have any bad habits? Well, to me, best friends should help each other become better people. And maybe, just maybe, I'll fix one of my bad habits for you, Geoff. Eh, I like it just the way you are. Oh, I should have read that out loud. That was great. Oh, Susie. Let's play Cerulean. I bet Susie... I bet it would actually be good if Susie joined. They're shocked that I'm whistling.
Something, something's a little off with the guitar chords, I think. I'm sure Mikey's doing, you know, what the game tells him to, but I, I, I don't think they're quite the right chords. Thanks, guys, though. That was nice. Susie's all dolled up for Christmas. Look at her. She looks like she's a little Santa girl get up. Mikey likes all the hair. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm a fan of this chalice. Really seeing a good candidate to swap out um, uh, Patsy's Yam Cha, except this Christmas wreath clock. Oh, and it's not expensive enough anyway. This pink box thing probably isn't either. I don't think that's good enough either. I don't know what to do. Maybe it's not to be. Alright, we know we want this uh, underwater floor. Did I say floor? If I said floor, I meant wall. Corsican Betrayal is intriguing to me a little bit. I definitely don't know it. Or own it. I can't really remember what it is. So let's go for it. And let's go for Big Top Polka too. If you're gonna go with Polka, you should go Big. I don't think we know had no or own side effects either. What's the last one? X-ray innovation. Do we really not own that either? Man, a lot of good songs. Okay, yeah, we'll take all these. Thanks, Picard. Nothing good here. Oh, well, question. Can you, like, trade this for... Oh, that's not expensive enough. I was gonna say maybe we could trade it for the Yam Cha, but... I don't think she'll take it. I'm trying to think of anything else. Is there anything in the flower shop, maybe? We'll take this too, I suppose. I'm kind of tempted to buy this thing. But I'm not really sure what I would do with it. It does look fun, though. I like this chalice. Now, if memory serves, December has a ton of mystery, like seasonal mysteries, so we're not really going to be able to, um... What am I trying to say? Hey, Sammy. Hey, 
mystery time is so exciting, except for the adults who never seem to enjoy it like us. They just don't know what they're missing. So I heard this rumor. Agile has some sort of secret. So is it true? I think it's true. Oh really? I didn't think it was true. If you ever go out to eat though, I'd love to invite it along too. What does that to do with anything? I can check in the bank. I'm starting to think I will have to play until midnight. Like, I can take a break, but um, it might be helpful considering I kind of want that yam cha and have all these berries. I don't think I. Oh, I have something. Princess table. I don't think that's the right size. That I think that's. the only spare thing. Man, my stomach hurts. I had this, like, tomato soup, but I don't think I'm used to eating tomato soup. Riveting story, right? Hey, girls. What up? Ooh, let's play, um... This trio already play. I don't think this is gonna sound good. <laughs> no, that sounds terrible. Maybe I should have waited till tomorrow to record. I feel very physically and emotionally dead right now. Spiritually dead. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I missed Magician's Quest. I wanted to play. So I'm sorry if this isn't very entertaining. I feel like I'm not totally myself. It's pretty cool now. Echoes of water underwater. <laughs> like who do you who do you think is singing this? I really want to know like what her life is like. like what aspects of her life led her to singing in a magician's quest game I wonder if my octopus Larry is being edified by this beautiful classic music I hope this isn't actually classic music. Because I don't want to have even more copyright claims on this video. Hmm. I 
thought this occurred to me. I could trade my wardrobe for the Amcha. Probably not, though. It's probably not nice enough. It's probably too cheap. You can actually only really see the very top of your wallpaper on the side. This is the most tired I've ever been on stream. I actually feel like I might fall asleep, which would be really bad. I guess I could edit it out. <laughs> it's not the game's fault, it's my own fault. I, I just couldn't get any sleep last night. I think I was still stressed out about everything. I kept like waking up and stuff. Okay, well, Mikey didn't like that French cooking. I don't know if Grimble might like it. Anyway, we definitely do have a little more creature farming to do, at least. We should check out the cave. Hey Becky, do you want to play Corsican Betrayal with me? Why is Nami just smiling here? I'm sure this will be a total masterpiece. Let's do it. like cruelly crumpling up my soul this hurts to listen to and yet it's so exquisitely beautiful I can hardly comprehend the majestic renaissance like beauty of its harmonic tones Definitely could use Susie's bass. Good job, everybody. Gold stars. Gotta keep this quick, I don't have time to dawdle right now, to be honest. So what's the problem? Hey, is that rumor true? The other one that goes, Geoff, get along. That is so true. It might be. It might be true that Geoff, get along. Pass along the message that I'm all ears if either of them want to talk. If either... <laughs> If either of me, if either of my personalities. <laughs> oh no, get back here! Oh, I scared off the moth. I'm a bad wizard. Go away, Nigel. I can't 
can't deal with you right now. I hope some of these are actually worthwhile. I really don't know. I seem to recall these are not particularly impressive catches. Is the uh, black fuzz ball in here anywhere? Black fuzz ball. Nowhere to be seen. Nautilus. Medium. So that's a vampire squid. But I think they're a little more evil looking than they are in real life. I don't think they have bat wings in real life. I could be wrong though. I'm not a squid expert. Legendary Leviathan spawn. That's a nice size. Good for the Leviathan for spawning such a large legendary offspring creature thing. Some canned tuna. Nice. Thought I saw one more ripple, but I might have been hallucinating. Go back in. Man, the water is popping. Look at all that activity. Okay, well it's gone now, but it was popping slash hopping. Whatever you want to call it. Dang it. I don't really 
want any of these. Now that I know that quite big is actually not big at all, it's like less than big. I have lost interest. My standards are higher. I deserve better. Tuna. So apparently our previous owners, like the previous owners of this house, um, like would feed this raccoon to the point that it's like partially domesticated. And I'm usually not like a nature guy, but the raccoon showed up the other night. And I have to admit, it's, it's pretty cute. So I, I did feed it some grapes. Um, he seemed pretty happy about that. Or I guess it's a she. I like named it and everything. Need that tiny shit. Get it out of here. Maybe the black Kara Sampara Sams, the Sam Sampara Jam, Pajama Sams, aren't actually uh, appearing in, on, in November. Maybe they leave in October. I think that's a good possibility. I'm gonna get rid of. I feel like one of these was not really very good, but I don't know. Ah! Patsy won't, won't stop. Alright, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I have returned. Um, that was a pretty decent haul of stuff. I think we got a couple valuable things. Why is Patsy just waiting out here for us? I'm starting to get uncomfortable. the spells I know. I'm trying to figure out if anything I think good. Well, we could summon the phantasm. Is there a good red tulip around? I think that's all we need. I guess I should sell this stuff before looking for anything more to pick up. Man, we got... Ch okay, so we were going to get... Oh man, those are really good. I shouldn't do this because I already have a full inventory. Maybe there's something I can like pick back up from the... Okay, I can pick that back up later. So, um, that makes sense. Um, 
Oh no, not another one. Okay. I have a problem. Oh wait. So, my parents are trying to figure out what to do for Thanksgiving. Because uh, I just got here, so I'm not about to make a full on, full ass Thanksgiving dinner. That's just because I, I honestly hate basically all Thanksgiving food. I like maybe this just ties into like family stuff because I've already explained how I don't like Christmas. But like I don't get Thanksgiving at all. I don't like eating a, a whole bird. Uh, a burger is fine, but a whole bird is too much. I don't really like stuffing or gravy. Mashed potatoes are okay, but I'd never eat them on purpose, you know? And then there's like the cranberry sauce, which is not really sauce. It's like this weird like gelatin thing. Um, and then there's pumpkin pie, which is like, I guess it's okay as a concept, but it's like, you never ever eat pumpkin normally, so why would you eat a pie of it? And it's like the same with pecans. Well, I, I guess people eat pecans. <laughs> but I don't understand the idea of making a pie out of pecans. I guess like the point of pecan pie is like the stuff underneath the pecans. And apparently that stuff is good, but like why taint it with pecans? Just make it by itself. Like just make a uh, blank pie. Oh man, I'll confess to you guys, I opened up Grinder in between, like, while I was doing that stuff, and, um, it is blowing up now. I'm sort of fresh meat in this area. No, come back here, you freaking... But, um, not having much luck, actually, which I guess is fine. I'm sort of crawling out of my skin, though, but, you know, that happens. Uh, let's see here. Anything decent around? These trees get really freaky looking. Like, you see how they have faces? Weird. No red tulips, so I don't think that'll work out. One sec. <laughs> are any of these the mushrooms we need? Biscuit mushrooms? Yeah, these are the ones she wants. No, not that one. They, like, clutch their pearls when you pick up a mushroom. I'm not sure why. They find it very scandalous. I tell you though, it is kind of cold around here. Ooh, I think I will take this. So, I would really love if the fire table, if the fire pit table thing worked. Or the fireplace. Either one would be great. But as of now, neither one is really working. Kind of a bummer. By the time we get them working, it'll probably be summer. It's an orange meal. That probably sells for more than one of these laughing chips. Okay, just 
just two of these. Sandy. So. Sandy. Oh, see, he says I have good taste. I think it's the insect that has good taste. Uh, no! Ah, uh, this is driving me crazy! I might seriously need to sit down and make a document of the shade remains. Like, come on. It's mystery time. The time when we harvest mythical creatures for our capitalistic profit. This is no time to be dabbling with shade remains. Uh, okay, I don't want to sell the biscuits at once. Oh, and I don't want to sell the red tulip either. Oh wait, oh man, my brain is not in my head today, it's in my ass. Hey Mikey, again, what's up? Don't blame me, I'm just not sure, of course it's true. He's just acting like it. And everyone's talking about it, so it's gotta be true. I feel like this is nowhere near the amount of money that I want. I want like 30,000. <laughs> I don't know if I actually have the patience to raise that much money, we'll see. This beach is laggy. I guess it's the mush, mush mushroom, mush marshmallow ball guys. Cotton ball critters. Patient, yet aggressive. Gotcha. Very big. Nice. Alright. Now, one issue is that if we get any emeralds, we will probably want to save one or two. I can't remember what the size is that we want. The emeralds are really good for a particular spell. Especially if we have homosexual intentions. Big Nautilus. Isn't that worthless or something? I don't know. I'm worried it's a shade remains. Fuck this. I'm actually- I'm gonna start this document right now. I- ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna start this document. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And guess what I learned? That big Draco fly would have given us shade remains. So get riddance. Wait. 
That's not proper English. Good riddance. Good lord, you can tell my verbal cortex is completely kaput today. Get over here. Can't hit my net. Small. Small's fine. I can tolerate small. And it turns out actually every size of... Like, there's not a truly bad size of Nautilus. That's actually a good catch, so... I'll try to stop... Tossing those in. I think the worst thing they give is, like, copper ore or giant fishbone, and I think both of those are still... Decent money. I could be wrong. Cambrian creature B. One second. Okay, Cambrian creature B is good. I'm just gonna write that down. This is kind of fun, actually. Oh, I have something to do. Farther out. the game thinks that Shade Remains is like a good reward, so it's not very clear, like, it's not just that like, shitty creatures will give you one. Also I looked again at the Hammerhead sh uh, Shark rewards and they are completely amazing, like any size is good. size? I feel like it is. Tiny Nautilus is a copper ore. I'll keep that. I know I saw a ripple in here somewhere. Hmm. I guess the big question is, is the Karasan Paran or whatever? Is that worth it? And it's not coming up when I... I don't know how to spell this stupid marshmallow creature. Oh, I guess I could just catch it. <laughs> That'd be good way to find out the spelling. Okay, one sec. Okay, they're Kessaran Passarans. How could I forget? They're not great reward-wise, they really aren't. But... They don't include shade remains, so that's good. I'm just trying to avoid that. Like, it's sort of the principle of the thing, it's just, it's, it's a real bummer. Maybe it'd be faster to just get over it, but... Oh! Well, I guess we don't need one of these guys. Or wait, did we already catch one? I don't know. Uh, I guess we don't need a tiny... Cambrian creature bee. I don't know what he just said. Hey Grimbo. Hey Grimmy. Okay, I'm pressing the talk button. I don't know why. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. We do get along pretty well. I can see how it seems fake, but it's not. Alright, I'm a BRB. See you guys on the flippity flop. Okay, I'm back. That was a pretty good haul. I feel like really good having this little list up here now. Um, what is she doing? I keep meaning to put this stuff in here, but I keep forgetting. Right? This is the... yeah. And then this is... And then I should probably store this emerald as well, just in case. Just in case I need some fast friendship. I'll get into that later. These guys would play something with us. Mm, about volume control. Come on, Grimble, join us. Actually, I think we already did this combo. Hey, Mikey, I'm not doing anything. Cool your jets. Ugh, I don't feel like dealing with you today, Grimble. I've had it up to here. I don't know why I went out there. I'm trying to sell this stuff. Fishbone is not valuable. I'll have to keep that in mind. I really do need to make some sort of infographic one of these days. I mean, I probably don't have time to do that, but it would be exceed exceedingly handy. We've already talked to him like 8 billion times today. Is there anything in here? I feel like this is our last hope of trading something for Patsy's. Oh, you know, that might be expensive enough. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's definitely expensive enough. Let's do this. Probably can't eat it to the same extent, but okay. She's really happy about it. I 
kind of want that table too, but I, I don't know if we can swing that. Well, I guess there's not much going on today, so we could take advantage of that lesson we learned the other day. Alright. Now, what was the combination? It was like play, playing with boys in the toilet or something. Play, boy, toilet. Yes, that's, a, that's actually exactly, I was kind of making a filthy joke, but um, that's actually exactly what it is. Uh, incantation, play, For this red tulip, Kamehameha, or whatever Christian says. I know that's not, I know that's very, very different. I know that's not what he's trying to accomplish. But in our case, it worked. He succeeded in using the phantasm condition. The cute little lolly popped out of the toilet. Or like a demon girl, I guess. Are you the one who called for me? Hey, hey, hey. That must mean you want to know what everyone around here is talking about. Are you sure you really want to know? I mean, are you really sure? Uh, yeah, I want to know. What, are you serious? Are you really sure you want to know? Yeah, it took like 35 seconds to do that spell. I'm not going to do it if I don't actually want to know stuff. Well, I'd love to learn about my friends or my enemies, but I'm kind of tempted. I would love to know about my true love. Let's hear it. Oh, you want to know who you're destined to be with? That's really what you want to know? Okay, whatever. As far as I can tell, the person you're destined to be with is Becky. Ugh. Seriously, no joke. <laughs> Becky seems to be interested in you. Yeah, well, not that I care anyway. Is that all you need? I mean, I look up, but I'm actually very busy. You know, see you around. <laughs> I wonder if she's like always there or if she like actually pops out of the toilet. We have we have no way of knowing really. So I hope we still have a choice in that because I'm not I'm not interested in Becky, even if she's interested in us. you can trade like gems for furniture because it looked like you could offer it but they'd probably say something like no we just want furniture um i'd offer this for the chinese table but i'm guessing it's not oh it's actually decent let's do that let's try to get this chinese bed as well Oh my god. We're never going to make enough money. Alright, I hope you guys are strapped in. I hope you have, you know, food and sustenance for the journey. Because this, I, I think we are going to go all the way to midnight here. We have a lot of ground to cover. Where did this freaking turquoise come from? I don't have any memory of collecting it. table, but it is the same size, so we'll give it a shot. Alright. What's this thing? Jewelry case? Nah. 
Man, I am not interested in Becky at all. I think that's... I should have picked something else. Like, I want a different fortune. <laughs> I reject that one. I thought at least it was going to be something scary like Patsy. She does seem to be following us around. What up, Sammy? Hey, Joff! Looking mighty chipper today! Just remember that hard working man always has a hard work and hunger! Nigel invited me to go out, but I wasn't feeling like it, so I had to decline. And since then, he's never asked me to hang out! Just like that! Does stuff like that bother you, Joff? Uh, no. I think that's the exact kind of dynamic I would like to have with Nigel. Wow, what's with this, like, choppiness? wigging out. So I finished Chucky Season 2, and I realized, like, I'm just gonna have to accept that, like, this TV show is... I mean, it's like the movies. It's fun. It's, like, good slasher fun. But it's absolutely, like, not... Like, it's... Nothing that's going to really, really get me excited, or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's kind of schlock, in, in a bit of a sense. I mean, they're really scared to kill off any main characters, or, I don't know, it's just, uh... Eh, it's okay. As far as TV shows go, it's okay. It's just not great or anything. Yeah, I think, uh... I, I never really feel shocked by the show. It does some interesting stuff. Oh, there is one of these black guys. I don't know how to reword that so it doesn't sound weird. I was hoping to run, and run into some of these black guys in this cave. And I have. I don't know. I don't know how awesome I thought a killer doll TV show was going to be. But I thought the first like two episodes, maybe even two or three episodes were really promising because it seemed like they were sort of toying with the dark side of the main character. But time and time again, they just like don't really explore that. And I think moral ambiguity makes for good TV and good story, and there just really isn't a lot of that in the... Like, they had ample opportunity, but they just aren't really going in that direction at all. And, like, the main cast feels kind of untouchable. Like, they're not very good at what they do, but they just don't die. So, I don't know. I feel like some of those out there are too far to get. I don't know. I just don't think I can reach that far. And yeah, I just, I feel myself falling asleep when like the main teens are on the screen. And I don't know if it's their, if, the, if their acting isn't great or if the material they're given just isn't very interesting. 
I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say it's just it's the material's fault. Because... I mean, I think the girl is very well acted. It's, it's hard to be a teen actor as a guy, I think. I mean, it's not very natural to be emotive for teen boys. Um, okay, we got some critters. What the hell did I just catch? That was, I don't... I don't know what just happened. I can't really tell where they are is the problem. Okay, that's a shade remains. For a lot of these bugs, it's the big size you don't want. I know that like this only adjusts efficiencies a small amount, but it feels much more efficient. Ah, Nigel's like hiding in the flowers. Do you see that weird square? <laughs> Some glitchy stuff going around. I don't think I think I might want to rewatch Big Love. That was such a good show. And Bill Paxton is now departed, which is very sad. I'm very reluctant to collect pond smelt. I seem to recall they were not very good in the rewards department. I guess I could give it a chance though. That was a huge size, so might be something decent. Like, I feel like watching a Woody Allen movie. You know, whatever your thoughts on are, I'm gonna try not to go into full on rant about that whole situation. I feel like this, he, his movies have a very particular style. Okay, I will be right back, folks. Okay, so I got like 8,000 melees. By 8,000 I mean 5, which is still too many. I'm feeling like we're not doing very well by going over to the cave. I feel like beach farming is the way to go if you want money. Oh man, that gave me a heart attack. That was a weird lag. I'm not sure what caused that. <laughs> Um, also, I'm thinking... I'm thinking of skipping the Chinese bed. It is going to show up a billion times. And, um... It's really expensive considering I don't need it that much. So, even though we already bought the Chinese table, I'm thinking of just... Tabling the bed for later. Some turquoise. Man, she's not paying much for these flowers. I'm a little disappointed in her. In fact, she's not giving much for a lot of these. I feel like curse bones are usually. Mm, no, I might be wrong on that. Maybe that is a fine price of curse bones. It's the ancient dragon bones that are super valuable if memory serves.
guess I'll catch these just to take care of the frame rate, I guess. Did I determine that Kisaran pans couldn't give you shade remains? I feel like I did. Oh, that's shade remains. Get out of here. Have a rotten day. So some ripples over here. So I ordered a Bluetooth mouse to play Mario Kart with on my phone because I heard that you can like hardcore control the game with your phone. So maybe it would like save my wrists some pain. But the one I bought doesn't really work, I guess, with it. And then I did bread some more on it, and it doesn't really help you that much anyway. It's not really a reusable way to play the game. They really just need to add controller support, but they probably never will. They want our fingers and wrists to bleed, which is definitely what's happening. I mean, it's not actually bleeding, but it really hurts. Speaking of hurting, I managed to get him in just in the nick of time. I think I'm gonna cap it at, uh, I don't know, maybe I should cap it at two emeralds? Because I really don't, like, I really need the, the money. I mean, as far as the number, the amount I'm going to save. Seems like the upstairs AC is working, so that's good. I have no idea where it is. I don't want the soup thing anyway, I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, there was a ripple in those rocks, but those are always, like, impossible to get. One second. 